Hello YouTube, this is Jed, West Virginia. I've uh, been a while since I posted before here. Uh, it's a new year, 2012. You can see I still got my vocal condition due to the snuff that I obviously have in. Uh, still been a habit I hadn't quite kicked yet, but maybe one of these days. Uh, it really doesn't matter if it's uh, in, I got snuff in or out. My voice has been this way for a better, better part of a year. Uh, I remember from last year. So I don't know, uh, this is kind of an ongoing condition. Um, Christmas is over, it went real good. Uh, brings me to kind of what I'm talking about today, uh, particularly uh, the clothes line that the kids like to wear today. I think it's uh, Holester, yeah, them Holester cut clothes. And, uh, it's just it's crazy, I'm telling you. Everybody wants it, but nobody got a job more to pay for it except for their parents. Uh, yeah, I look at the price tag on some of these things, and I think it's kind of ridiculous. Um, I mean, you looking at the hub, I don't know. But I see a pair of jeans that were like $75. It looked like they were something I had back in 1985 uh, that I wore myself to get to look that way. Uh, kids, they, you know, say they want to look nice, they want to dress and be all popular. But uh, these clothes don't even look nice, really. They just look like something old you bought in a day on yard sale. So it, it kind of bewilders me a little bit on why people pay this price tag for stuff, but I'm kind of a, an idiot, so to speak, on things, and uh, I kind of like picking on my kids, so, you know, they're not, uh, you know, not crazy by any means, I mean, obviously everybody wants stuff, and people like stuff, I guess, that have high price tags on them, so they can walk around school and show off the holister on their butt tag and then their shirts and stuff, and they look, hey, I got holister. Look at the holster's clothes I wore. I paid nine thousand dollars for this, but I didn't pay for it. My parents they mortgaged their house, I guess, so they could have fit me in these old ass clothes. But uh, I kind of like uh, going buying the holster bag, and then all the clothes I buy them, we'll put them in those, so that when they come down and they see all these holster bags all around, they're going, Oh, good Lord, I got holster on my butt. I got holster on my shirt. This is the greatest Christmas ever. And then open it up and they're like, oh, I got a pair of faded glory. That's what you got. No holes there. Put that $19 pair of jeans on yourself and go to school. And be proud because that's what I had to work all year to pay for. How about that? But, uh, yeah, it's just funny like that. Like joking with them. They, they're not really upset. They, they kind of expect it now. Uh, probably be more surprised if I went and bought a faded glory bag and put a uh, holister item in it. Hey, that'd be funny. Then they'd probably crap themselves. And, uh, now they probably wouldn't wear it actually because uh, they look to close themselves and say, what the world are they going to pay that much for? All right, that's crazy stuff. Uh, but anyway, you know, kids, kids today, they want stuff that costs $9,000 just so they can fit in. And, uh, I don't know really. I mean, it's okay. If you got the money to pay for it, pay for it. If you want to pay for it, that's fine. Um, I say that I got, ain't got the money to pay for it. I just, I guess I got the sense that they ain't going to pay for it. Clothes are clothes. You get a nice looking shirt and a pair of pants. For what, you can buy one shoelace that has a holster tag on it. So, that's just my mentality on it. You know, you agree with it or you're not. Whatever, you're going to do what you're going to do. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk, hold on, hear that, oh wait, that's not my normal voice, easy, hold on a minute, take note of this, this is, hear the tone in my voice, that's my no. that's normal, I don't have the draw, I don't have the gurgling, but I still got nothing. That's amazing. You guys have just witnessed something that a lot of people haven't seen. Uh, uh, it's not like my voice is some phenomenal voice, but I've gotten it back. It's not uh, as it was before, basically. You know, so you heard the, the kind of swing bladish and whatever, but that's amazing. I wonder if it's going to stay. That would be great if it does. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get... There we go. There it's back. I shouldn't have swallowed the egg. Love it. Well, you got to see it there for a minute. All right, Dan, so I hope you uh save in this video because this might not happen again. I, I've been burned six months talking to, uh, this way, and there all of a sudden I'm on the YouTube, and it's boom. Uh, kind of <laughs> actually reminds me of if anybody watches the, the, uh, watch the X Factor. 
um, uh, that girl on there, which is, <laughs> she's got to be kidding me, she won the thing. I personally am a Josh fan, Josh Cratchit, all the way. He was an awesome singer. But that just little episode right there just kind of reminded me of when she came out halfway through the episode and all of a sudden, hey, look at me, man, I'm a Jamaican, or whatever it was, and her voice just automatically changed. Here, I'm normal talking, but I got an idea. Here, I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to get more ratings because I'm going to come out and say, look, this is my real voice. And she had some Jamaican kind of African, I don't know what it was, accent. Uh, basically, a big fat fib. Uh, Thinks she was losing ground. She thought this would do it. And she said some real stuff. Well, this is me. I'm tired of hiding who I am. Tired of hiding who you are. If I didn't have to talk this way, I wouldn't. And it doesn't matter if I could change it all the time. I could have a pleasant speaking voice. She talks normal, very American. She is American, uh, so I don't know why she felt it. Is. She was embarrassed by having to speak normal. Uh, but yeah, uh, that kind of just reminded me of it when my voice went back there. Uh, but it's kind of crazy. Uh, I'll get on a whole other thing about the uh, X Factor later on because I got some issues with that. But uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and knock on out of here. Uh, check back. I'll throw some more wisdom at you. Bye.